So E's and A's bring the larynx up. O's, U's, um, A's all bring the larynx down. And if you actually, if you just pay attention to the nature of the vowel, you can feel that happening. Uh, one of the terminologies we don't use is forward and back. Sometimes I use it as a crutch, but it's really a crutch, nothing more, because there's no way to sing forward or no way to sing backwards. There's no shift on our, in our hip. It goes, here's our forward left vowels, here's our back vowels. Um, that's just a sensation that we use. The problem with using some of those terminologies, like forward or backwards, is that it's, it's open to interpretation. It's like me telling you to sing the color blue. Well, what blue are we talking about? And your blue may be different than my blue. So I was trying to stay away from non-specific non terminology like that. So again, uh, up larynx exercises or vowels would be E's and A's. Lower would be the O, A, uh, and uh.